Another bad dream, my sweet. You take your charge too seriously, I think. Mama Maladay and her dog God are in prison beneath that volcano forever. You and Flint have seen that. They will never escape. Perhaps you're right, but I fear these may not be dreams. They might be a warning of some kind. A warning from the spirits. A very strong bokor is obscuring the message somehow. Impossible! No man, Bokor or not, is more powerful than you. Papa Doc, you are just worrying too much again. Yes, you are right of course, Zimbi. But still, the mountain, it stirs too much for my liking. I'm convinced that trouble is coming to Buju Island nonetheless, and coming soon. I can't believe that do sink under them. <laughs> I feel bad for the dinghy. And Blue Belly, don't need all the bananas before you row back like last time. We'd like some too, if you don't mind. Aye, and don't eat the entire island, neither. We need a place to land. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. Really funny, guys. Original. Pick on the fat cook. That's your pie holes, you pukes. We're on lookout, remember? I'll be gone. Hi. I I will Buddy. do. The lookouts are in place, Captain Greenbeard. Flint ship won't get past us unnoticed. You sure it's supposed to be tonight? Yes, yes. I made sure he got the letter yesterday. But Flint's crew, will he have a full compliment? We spiked their food with some Vuju powder. Half of them will be too sick to make the trip. You worry too much, Batty. <laughs> the trap is perfect. The blonde fool won't be king for much longer. Could have picked on Stinky Sam. That guy never bathes. A pig like Polly. Lost his leg in a bet. Idiot. I just have to remember this is for Rosie's braces. This is all for Rosie's braces. Where are the baskets? Oh, bloody hell! I forgot the baskets again! Are you sure working with this photo witch is such a good idea? <coughs> you damn well better not be having second thoughts, Batty. Or it'll be you Queen Zimby sacrifices to that thing not flint after tomorrow night i'll be pirate king not flint you best remember that no captain i would never question you i am loyal i swear it captain jade starling thanks for the story greenie can't wait to tell flint <laughs> whoa <laughs> Row to shore, now! Who are you? James Stone, at your service. Captain Flint's chief spy. Now row! Oh, the cook! I didn't do anything! You're trying to kill me! And you too, because you're helping me! Sire, Queen Zimbi said you were hurt, and needed no, me. No, no, my friend, I'm fine. But no need for this sire nonsense with me, Mister. I'm here because of your message. Are Ishel's spells truly failing? Not sure, but the island does stir again. I did not send you a summons. Well, if you didn't, who did? Queen Zimby did! Flint, this whole thing is a trap! Jane? What the devil are you doing here? After Kate left, 
I had a hunch about Greenbeard, and it was right. I stowed away. Greenbeard and some Buju witch plan to sacrifice you to, to... to something! I didn't understand! This isn't possible, Jane. Old Greenie has been loyal to me for years. You have any proof? <gasps> what was that? I'm afraid it's my proof. We toast old Roger in hell for this treachery. No, Captain Flint. It will be you who sup with old Roger once I am through here. Besides, I need Greenbit alive. For who will command my pirate fleet when you are gone? Take them. What the devil? <laughs> <laughs> What? What happened to us? I'm glowing, and I'm transparent, and... What the devil? Yeah, weird. Well, at least I'm not glowing pink. Damn Queen Zimbi. I should have known. Ah. Yes, we are disembodied spirits, or what you would call ghosts. Then we are, uh, We are, uh... Dead? No, not completely. Not yet, anyway. Yet? Regardless, we need to go free Captain Flint, now! Wait, woman! I have a plan. You need to listen instead of running off. Look, you go find a ship or anything to get us off Buju Island. You, uh, what's your name? My real name's kind of stupid, so I just go by Bluebelly. Really? Why? Can we discuss his name later? Aye, Bluebelly, you go find our bodies and bring them to the Greater Temple. Wait, someone is coming. Queen Zimbi was born at midnight, which gives her the power to see spirits. So stay quiet and take cover. That is where you must go, my fat friend. Hey! Just stay quiet, and she won't hear or see you. It would be foolhardy to try and rescue Captain Flint with just the three of us. So we have to get off the island and get help. I think we have time. You should know. The magic I used to save us has also bound us together. As spirits, we can hear each other's words, see through each other's eyes, and can sometimes even control each other's bodies. Remember that. So what are you going to do? I need to figure out a way to break into my own temple. Zimbi and I cast a lot of spells on the temple in order to ward off all manner of dark lords or spirits. <sighs> I never thought I would actually be one of them. Let us be off. Here is the first barrier, these warding stones. I won't be able to overcome their magic. But the salt on the other hand, hmm. Ow! I can't go near it nor touch it. I'm going to have to find some other way of removing it, before I can gain entry. Each Guardian has improved a temple. It started as a hut, and is now a world-famous academy. I will not be the Bokor who loses it to evil. I built those doors from the mightiest coconut trees. We have to save this world, so I can eat mackerel and banana again. The world will end for a line of salt. Bag of our finest chicken feed. If I die, these birds will starve. There are two loose posts here. I'm dead one day, and the school goes to heck.
It's the fence she made me build to contain my roosters. I remember her watching me. She couldn't stop smiling. Another of Simbi's wretched zombies. I can't believe she raised such an army behind my back. A makeshift coconut bean. These coconuts are not in good condition. They leak from their eyes, as do the zombies. It's one of those thing... thingies. They hold coconuts. I don't have time for these questions. Looks familiar. He must have worked on one of those cargo ships that disappeared from the area. <coughs> That's right, Yamo. He tried to cheat us on last month's crop. My old sister. The first thing I built here. I don't like zombies climbing my ladder. Another zombie worker. Where did you find them all? A wheelbarrow with a seemingly endless capacity for rocks. water spillway that keeps the chickens from drowning. The water used to cool the surface of the lava and make a little land bridge. Most amusing. This path winds through the trees and eventually ends at the academy entrance. The world will end for a line of salt. Oh, this would make a fun water slide. Wish I brought me little bathing costume. We can wait. Go and get it. These crazy trees. They've gone bananas. Oh, seriously, they're certifiably insane. I'm a little nervous being near them. Let's see how strong I am as a ghost. Slapstick alert! Sturdy shutters to the attic. Ho ho! A falling zombie is always useful... somehow. The entrance to this voodoo cursed warehouse.
the entrance to this voodoo cursed warehouse. The big guy's got an impressive voodoo staff in his hand. Is that what you call it? It's better than a fork. That is interesting. Bring it closer to me. I can't talk to that. Wow! Look, I see a voodoo staff with a hand clasping a ball. Is that yours? No, child. I'm not a child. Woman. Ah, just tell me what it is, you old buzzard. That is the Hand of Glory snuffer. It is the only thing that can extinguish a Hand of Glory candle. It's not in the mood to talk. Is Flynn's crew incapacitated? Yes, Captain. Good. Next, we need to spread the word about our poor king's death and convince the original 12 members of his crew to return <laughs> to this island for the king's moot. Why the original 12? You'll Captain? see in time, Betty. You'll see. And on the way back, we'll tend to a little... side errand. Your side errands are always violent and bloody. Oh, yes, indeed. I cannot let our cook's treachery stand. I have to make an example of him. We'll sack and burn to ashes his home port of Mary Kay. That should send a powerful enough message to anyone who would dare to betray me. Don't you think, Betty? Threats of violence always work for me. It's a crate of zombie party supplies. It's a carving of a skeleton hand reaching up from the grave to grab your leg and drag you down to your doom. Or maybe it's just waving. Bye. Thanks for the funeral. Full of clean rainwater. It's a friendly old scrub bucket. <laughs> Looks happy. An insignificant door. Trust me on this. It's a pile of cheap wood. It's a hot brazier. Looks like Zindi's gonna brand her zombie army with voodoo symbols. Ceremonial shield. No good in a fight. Drink it. I'm gonna pass. I knew him before he was a zombie. He tried to grab my pirate booty. So I threw him overboard. It's not in the mood to talk. It's a strong, lightweight cargo net. It's the handle to the crane up there. He was on the crew of a ship that vanished last week. He owes me money. Nothing useful in the bow.
It's the mise en masse yardarm with a worn cotton canvas. If I do something dramatic with the rigging, I could catch the zombies off guard. Can't reach. It's, a uh, you know, one of them things. All right, Blue. How do you get into these things? Never mind. Get the bodies and bring them back to some temple place thingy. Papa Doc said stay low because that Queen Zimbi Voodoo witch can see ghosts. Born at midnight or some such. Then after that, we escape to get more pirates, free Captain Flint, he kills Greenbeard, and then I'm free to go home. This is gonna be easy. I, I can feel it. It's a bulky steel padlock. A reinforced sturdy maple cabinet. Zombie Miner. It's nice to see zombies not just chasing and devouring folks. Most zombies hold down regular jobs and are very hard working. I look like an idiot talking to that. Strong enough to moor a ship. Or hang an innocent man. Although perhaps not one of my stature. It must be a chest of gold! Jewels! Tulips! My fortune's made! It's a crate made of sturdy barwood. A small cargo net. Probably came off some ship. They shouldn't leave it lying about. Someone will trip on it. The zombies must use this hook and track system to move things out of the tunnel. Another working class zombie. <laughs> there she is. I better stay low like Papa Doc said. If she catches me, there's no telling what kind of curses or heck she'll put on me. Papa Doc. What exactly is she doing? This must be some secret apothecary. A what? It is a workroom where one makes potions, medicine, and powders. Pirates she's turned to zombies must have built this place underground. It was the only way to keep it secret from me. She has prepared more zombie powder to use on Flint's crew, I'm sure. More zombies? Why all these zombies? That is a mystery we will have to solve later. Though you can be sure she won't be using them for anything good. Just get our bodies and we'll deal with Queen Zimbi after we escape and come back with help. I hope she likes the party. Recipes for evil, Valley of the Voodoo dolls, a Nosferatu story, no ladies home cleaning periodicals. Don't think about Papa Doc. It's a thin bottle of fizzing shiny fluid. A voodoo doll. I've only seen the touristy crap version. This is the real thing. 
It's full of boiling rubber. That's hot. Are we out of chicken blood again? It's an authentic voodoo altar. Quite a trim ship. Can't believe Papa Doc was hitched to her. Where's my jar of baby fat? Quite a trim ship. Can't believe Papa Doc was hitched to her. I wonder if Mama will recognize me. Two amber bottles, not full of grog. And two turds chopped. Fuju for one. Low sodium spells. Let's go, Mary Kay. It's a bottle shaped like a chicken with some red foul liquid inside. Worms, maggots, grubs. Probably pulled out of her zombies. <laughs> Crevens. This is not good. Those are zombie fetishes. Glass prisons holding very powerful demons. Zimbi doesn't want us to become just ordinary zombies, but zombie demons. As zombie demons, we could, well, be really powerful, right? No, idiot. By the third cock crow at daybreak, they will open and permanently take possession of our bodies. We'll be stuck as ghosts forever. Ah, I see. Bad thing, that. Needs to be stopped. What do I do? You must destroy them. Pour chicken blood on the glass fetish and repeat the demon's proper name three times. That will break them open and free the imprisoned demons. The name should be written somewhere on the bottle. They're... they're too far away to make out. Well, then figure out a way to get closer and read them quickly. Be warned. Those glass fetishes are highly unstable. Do not approach them until they are destroyed. Jane, I want to read what's on these glass things, but I can't get near them. Hmm, what about a spyglass? That's what pirates use. It's a glass container over my godlike body. Jane looks fit. Doc eh, looks old. I look kinda fat in those pants. It's a zombie fetish over Papa Doc's decrepit old body. Don't tell him I said that. He'll trounce me. It's a glass container over Jane's treasure chest. I gotta save my future wife. It's a bamboo platform holding a bunch of useless rocks. Zombies are terrible at interior design. It doesn't talk to working class guys. It's an enormous cast iron cauldron with leftover witch's brew. Boko's brew. A bundle of old bamboo. It's a large boulder propped up by two bamboo stalks.
More boulders. Where's the big pile of gold? You're under a graveyard. Zimbi is building a zombie army. What are you saying? You're in a dead body mine. Sorry, I blacked out for a wee moment there. I'm back. Uh, it's a rock. It's a deep crevice dropping down to molten lava. A geyser of grave water comes up at random. Uh, it's a rock. It's the spigot to this big tank. I'm hoping it's full of ale. It's a deep crevice dropping down to molten lava. A geyser of grave water comes up at random. If I touch that light, it might be hideously painful and sear my hand like a steak, and I'm all... Yeah! Is he always like this? I don't know. He's not used to adventure. Oh, shh. Right here. Dragon egg whites, stiffly beaten. Two amber bottles, not full of grog. A dash of cayenne? The entrance is completely boarded up with coffin wood. <laughs> 